Colin Farrell is set to play the Penguin once again in a Batman spinoff for HBO Max. Now we don't know a ton about this right now, so I'll give you the information that we do have. Um, Variety reported this originally as far as I was aware. And this was reported back in September, but it was kind of, we knew there was gonna be a Penguin thing on HBO Max. We didn't know if there was any Colin Farrell connection. We didn't know, you know could this thing have been maybe like an animated spinoff? Was it connected to the Batman movie that's coming out? There was a lot of things that were questions assumed because of his casting but we couldn't make much out of that. So um, this reported back in September, Farrell was not officially attached to the project at that time. He will be playing the villain in the series that will he will star in and executive produce for HBO Max. Um, Matt Reeves, director of the Batman, will be producing alongside Dylan Clark and, and the aforementioned Farrell. And uh, Lauren LaFranc will be one of the writers. I don't know if she's gonna be a head writer or just a writer on the show. Um, there's another spin-off already been announced for the Gotham PD, which is not the Gotham show that was on Fox. This is a Gotham PD show connected to the Batman film that's coming out. Um, the Batman's currently set to release March 4th, 2022. I don't see that changing unless things with the Omicron variant uh, get a little more crazy. But I think right now we're set with March 4th. I think that's happening. Um, so that's kind of what we're playing at here. And initially I was thinking like, is, is Colin Farrell going to do TV because I, I was struggling to think of what he had done that was TV related in his past would that be something he would do and then the idea came to me that yeah he was he was in True Detective he was in season two that season no one really talks about he was in True Detective so he's done television work before and I think I'm curious because we, we don't know enough about his character I've been under the belief and I think that's been supported by people talking about it that he's not a big player in the movie, that in the movie he's gonna have very little screen time and maybe even just the opening scene, maybe just one of the action piece set pieces and then we won't see him again. Um, I don't know for certain what his role is going to be, but we know that the Riddler is pretty much the main villain and I think if I would guess, I would say Colin Farrell's Penguin is going to be like the Scarecrow from the Batman Begins trilogy and that he's going to appear in all three films and maybe have a big role in one of them but I don't think he's gonna be like the main, he's gonna be more of a connective tissue between all three films. That's just my guess. Um, but hearing he's gonna star in a Penguin series, I am asking myself who wants a Penguin series. Not that I don't think it's a good idea, but it's an odd idea. And we won't know until we see his performance in the finished film, The Batman, if that feels like it would work. But Colin Farrell is, he's delicious. He's a wonderful performer. I think he sometimes has a tendency of picking projects that aren't good, but he's always good in projects. And he's able to do a lot of things that people don't think he's capable of. When I, when I heard he was gonna be in, in the Harry Potter prequel, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, I thought, uh, really? But he surprised me in that film. When I heard he was gonna be playing the, the Jerry Dandridge character in a Fright Night remake, I was like, really? But he surprised me in that film. When I heard he was going to be uh, makeuped up to do horrible bosses, I I was I thought that was a bad idea. And I watched the movie, and Horrible Bosses is a brilliant comedy, and he's very funny in the movie. He has consistently surprised me by what he's capable of doing, and I don't know why. My I, I ever think he can't do something. I think I've been swayed now to, to believing that no, I'm the one who's wrong for thinking he's incapable, because he's really really good, even. Occasionally, like, he picks a project that isn't right for him. Alexander was not a good project for him. I don't know if that was a good project for anybody. Um, but I think more often than not, he picks movies that are that he can add something interesting to. He just doesn't always pick the ones that are going to be the most notable. You know, I still haven't seen the Total Recall remake. I heard it's not bad, but I heard it's just comparative. Like, this doesn't seem like the right project to pick. Um, Colin Farrell is very capable. So I think as much as I'm like, Penguin? For HBO Max, I'm gonna watch it. I, I mean, it's not just because I have HBO Max. I am plan. I will see it as soon as it drops because, again, I I'm more excited for it because of Matt Reeves' involvement as a producer. Um, I am such a huge fan of the two Planet of the Apes movies he did. I loved Let Me In. I loved his Cloverfield movie. Matt Reeves wins me over if I'm ever in doubt. So with Matt Reeves producing, Colin Farrell starring, and also uh, I think executive producing, that's 
that's kind of a that's kind of a win for me. I'm very curious to see how that's going to play out. But we won't know more until we see the Batman uh, in March of next year. Are you excited for a Penguin series on HBO Max? Let me know down below your thoughts on this new development. Um, do you are you more interested in this than you are for the Gotham PD show that will also be a spinoff, or is there another character that you feel right now you're more interested in? I'm, I'm just curious. We don't know enough about this Batman movie to say one way or the other, but what would you like to see in a Batman spinoff for HBO Max? Let me know down below your thoughts on that.